All right, Shalom. Before I begin, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. And I also want to give double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men who rule well and the men who taught us this truth. All right. So I basically just wanted to bring out a little bit of uh, edification on uh, Amos, the ninth chapter, verses 11 and 12. All right. Because I know that when you get to uh, verse 12, you know, it might confuse some brothers with the way that it's written out. Because, you know, we all know, man, Esau got a hold of our scriptures, you know, and if you, you need, you need you know, the, uh, the elders and apostles to break it down to you so that these things, you know, don't, don't make you stumble, okay? So, Lord's will, I'm going to, basically, I'm going to read over it, break it down, bring out, uh, I think, two more precepts, and I'm going to read it in the Spanish translation, the Reina Valera, 1960, all right? You can see it on camera. Yeah. All right. So, uh, because the uh, Biblia de Loso 1569 is, uh, you know, pretty much the closest thing to the KJV. I don't have that uh, version hard copy because you know, it's real hard to find. All right. But uh, the the um, the one I just showed that Bible is in Spanish. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna read it in Spanish, uh, and uh, break it down into English, and uh, that version is is actually uh, can explain it. Uh, more, it's more simplified, if you will, you know, so I'm going to read it and translate it, Lord's will. But first, I'm going to read it, uh, you know, in English, and then, you know, break it down, Lord's will. So this is the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, and I'm going to start at verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David, which is the tabernacle of David is the elect, that is fallen, and close up, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, which in the days of old, the house of David, what man, when, uh, when King David was over Israel, he had the, you know, the 12 tribes were together. All right. So and that's, you know, what you see happening now, man. You see all the tribes getting back together, man. All right. You see, um, you know, you see on the, on the streets prophesying Judah and Ephraim, man, meaning the Northern and the Southern kingdom. All right. So verse uh, 12, uh, Amos 9 and 12, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. And of all the heathen, which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this. Now, when it says which are called by my name, that's referring to the uh, the tabernacle of David. All right, it's not referring to the heathen. Okay, and I got a precept on that. Okay, because you know the way it's written out, you know it might confuse some brothers. All right, but hey, uh, ultimately the elect are gonna get it. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 63, and I'm gonna start at 17. O Lord. Why hast thou made us to err from thy ways, and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake the, to lock you, the tribes of thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Yeah, because what? The uh, nation of Israel, man, have possessed it but a little while, man. But of course, at the end, man, uh, the nation of Israel, the kingdom of Israel is going to be, the kingdom of Yahweh, Yahweh is going to be forever. All right. No one else is going to get it once Yahweh Yahweh Shai establishes the kingdom, you know, here on earth, the kingdom of the Israelites. All right. All right. Back. Salakia, you know, I had a little problem. Uh, technical, not even technical difficulties. It's just Satan. But anyway, um, yeah, Isaiah 63 and 18, the people of thy holiness have possessed it, but a little while the people of thy holiness was that man, the nation of Israel. Who's the chosen line? Israel. All right. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Okay, uh, let's see. Our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. Who are, who are the adversaries of the nation of Israel? The heathen, man. All right, the heathen ain't on our side, man. Okay, none of them. All the heathen hate us, man. Read Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Verse 19, here's the point. Isaiah 63 and 19. We are thine. Thou, so like, thou never bearest rule over them. All right. Yeah, we are thine. Who, who we are? We are of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. We're, we're the chosen. Uh, all right, the nation of Israel. Uh, continuing on, they were not called by thy name. Yeah, exactly, man. They they weren't, man. They, who who's they? That's talking about the heathen, man. All right, the nation of Israel is. Okay, of course, you know on this side, beginning with the elect. So now I'm gonna go back to Amos, but I'm gonna read it now in Spanish. All right, now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to just read it. You know, and brothers can even Google this, you know, 
uh, for anybody that would rather, you know, see it physically for themselves. But, you know, I'm just going to read it in Spanish and break it down verbatim. I'm literally going to explain which word, you know, it is in English because, of course, you know, this version is a little bit more, um, uh, what's the word? It's it's uh, simplified a little more. It's not in the old English exactly, you know, or in the old Spanish, if you will. So this is Amos 9 and 11. En aquel día yo levantaré el tabernáculo caído de David, which that in English would be verbatim. In that day, I will raise up, you know, or lift up the tabernacle fallen of David. All right, continuing on. Y cerraré su, sus portillos, which is, you know, close up the breaches, right? Y levantaré sus ruinas. Oh, it's a lot. Uh, yeah, let me check. Real quick, just to make sure, you know, I don't want to make any mistakes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, y cerraré sus portillos, which is, you know, close up the breaches. Y levantaré sus ruinas, which is uh, raise up the ruins. I will raise up the ruins, all right? So, like, yeah. uh, Let me see. Sus ruinas. Y lo edificaré como, el tiempo, como en el tiempo pasado, which is, and I will, uh, you know, basically build it back up, like, in the uh, time past, you know, or like, like you know, when the scripture said the days of old, like in time past, because, you know, this is a little bit more simplified, you know. Uh, this is the point, all right, verse 12. Because as we know, when we read it here, well, let me read it. Uh, yeah, uh, Amos uh, 9 and 12 in the Spanish. Para que aquellos sobre los cuales es invocado mi nombre, which is um, for uh, Salakia. Yeah, which is, which, which is... Basically saying, those which uh, which are invoked, Salakia, which are called by, yeah, yeah, Salakia, which are called by my name, um, yep, so that those which are called by my name, that's basically what it's saying in the Spanish, all right? Now, when, what did we just read in Amos in, in the KJV? It said what? It said, it said that which are called by thy name after it said, um, um, Edom and of all the heathen, all right? Now, in the Spanish, that's actually what it starts out with, which is that's how it's, you know, supposed to be said, all right? So, verse 12, once again from the top, para, para que aquellos sobre los cuales es invocado mi nombre, so that those which are uh, called by thy name, basically that's what it's saying, posean el resto de Edom, possess the rest of Edom, y a todas las naciones, and all the nations, dice Yahweh que hace esto, which means, uh, says Yahweh that does this, all right? So, pretty much, that's the point. Oh, real quick, I want to get one more precept in the English, all right? Just to let you, you know, especially new brothers, that, hey, man, your foundation, once you stick to your foundation, man, uh, uh, you know, smaller things shouldn't stumble you, you know? You, uh, all right, yeah, Salaki, you know, had an issue with the uh, phone. So, basically, though, you know, when you stick to that foundation, all right, uh, um, you know, things, scriptures like this, you know, you shouldn't let it get to you, you shouldn't let it stumble you, man. That's when you, you know, reach out to older brother. Or you could, hey, you could pretty much look up any breakdown on YouTube, man. You type in GMS and then uh, whatever breakdown you're looking for, right? So, uh, this is uh, Amos chapter 3, verse 1, you know, because going back to what? That the Lord only deals with Israel, all right? Point blank, period, all right? The elect of the nation of Israel are Israelites, okay? Read Revelations, the seventh chapter. Uh, Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yep, exactly, man. Because the Lord deals with His people, man, which His people are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And I'm going to get one more scripture really quickly in the book of Psalms. This is Psalms. Chapter 147, verse 19, and I'm going to read down uh, 19 and, uh, verses 19 and 20. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Who is he? That's talking about Yahweh. Okay. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel, which the nation of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. So Paul, that's what, you know, that's what they're being called today. Right. Verse 19. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So... Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is not dealing with these other nations. He's only dealing with the nation of Israel. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, exactly, man. All right. These other nations, you know, they, they don't know. They don't know of the Lord, man. All right. They don't. They can't get the truth of the scriptures. All right. The only thing that these heathen are going to be is, is in subjection to the Israelites. All right. 
So that was it. Lord's willing, this video is edifying. I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shad, Bahashem Rakakodash. And I want to give double honors unto the elders and apostles of great millstone, the men who move well and the men who taught us this truth. And I want to say Shalom, Wa Barakim, La Abakarium, Shah Yashavala, peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.